Georgia's parliament is debating another controversial bill that targets organisations receiving foreign funding. A similar law exists in Russia. Critics say it's undemocratic and aimed at silencing political opponents. The legislation is also at odds with Georgia's ambitions of joining the European Union. Thousands of protesters with Georgian and European Union flags gather outside Parliament in Tbilisi. They oppose a government bill that would force non-profit organisations and media companies that get funding from abroad to register as being under foreign influence. Many here want Georgia to join the European Union and they think the proposed law would be used to curb dissent and undermine democracy. This is really bad for our European future and we have to fight now or we'll just lose it. It's about maintaining independence uh, and also uh, maintaining, maintaining the laws so we can integrate with the European Union better. Police arrested 14 people as the crowds hope to force the government to scrap the bill. But earlier in the day, in the parliament building, tensions were running high. An opposition politician punched a leader of the ruling Georgia Dream Party, leading to a brawl in the chamber. The ruling party maintains the draft law is necessary to fight pseudo-liberal values imposed by foreign countries and say it promotes accountability. The party is torn between deepening its relationship with neighbouring Russia while also wanting to join the European Union. Pro-Europe activists will be out in force when the debate resumes in Parliament, pressing the case for Georgia to become part of the EU. I spoke about the new draft law with DW's Maria Katsamatsa in Tbilisi. Well, as it was mentioned in the report, the government wants to restrict the work of NGOs, of the civil society here in Georgia. The civil society is very, very diverse and it's kind of a uh, moving uh, force of the, uh, of the Georgian aspirations towards the EU here. So the government says that it wants to in increase the uh, transparency over the overseas fundings. However, the critics here and the protesters, they don't really believe the claims of the government. They say that the government is trying to uh, set the ground for the elections that are going to happen in October and to, you know, crack down on the oppositional media and on the pro-European Georgians because uh, they feel like they can be threatened and their grip on power can be threatened. But also should be considered here. Last year, the government really felt a bit, uh, I would say, uh, humiliated because it was um, forced to uh, remove this law under the pressure of Western allies, under the pressure from the streets. So this time around, they're saying that we will not stop and that we will adopt this law. Well, what sort of a threat do these protesters pose for the government? Well, it's quite uh, still a developing picture here uh, on the ground. We cannot really say how dangerous it can be. However, we've seen that the protesters are really uh, angry because they they think that their European future is being uh, is being stolen away from 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 them. And their people that we met here uh, at the square, they're telling that they're going to protest until the bill is withdrawn. They are very much dedicated, as much as the government uh, is dedicated, to pass this bill this time around. So so we'll see how it's going to develop. It's, it can be quite unpredictable here. You mentioned their dedication, but what sort of part of society actually wants to become part of Europe in Georgia? Yes, uh, it's actually uh, quite a large uh, number of, of people who want really to be part of the EU. According to uh, various uh, surveys, more than 80% of uh, Georgians want to be part of the EU. Many protesters here are saying that we do not want to go back to Russia. We do not want Russian-style, uh, you know, policies here in Georgia. And in order to, uh, you know, continue their path to the EU, they believe, the protesters and the critics here, uh, that they uh, should, the government should withdraw the bill uh, because otherwise it would be impossible for them to, to you know, to uh, be a EU member uh, one day. The latest on those protests, that bill and also Georgia's accession 
ambitions. Thank you, Maria Katamata.